Hey, you like anime marathons, right? You know, when you sit down together with a bunch of anime fans and watch your favorite anime? Yeah, of course you do, you weeb. Good news for you because there's a perfect site where you can do just that. Twitch. That's right, if you go to twitch.tv slash watch slash anime, you can actually join in with your fellow weeb fans to sit down and watch some good old-fashioned anime together in a good old-fashioned anime marathon style. Until November the 7th, you can join in on the currently streaming anime marathon of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Masters. You can watch the anime, there are special segments, it's fun times. So again, click that first link in the description below, or go to twitch.tv slash watch slash anime to join in on the fun. Anyways, thank you to Twitch for sponsoring today's video, and I hope you enjoy the episode. Yeah. How's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. Oh my fucking god, anime is dying everyone! Help! I'm just kidding, I was just trying to get your attention. Or was I? No, I actually am kidding. Or at least I hope I am. As you know, there have been countless videos of me and other anime YouTubers talking about the end to the anime industry. Oh no! The Owari is nigh. Had your kids, had your waffles. Where the good animal at? I wanna know where the good animal at. As much as I wanna know how many dead memes I can bring back from the grave in this video, let's just cut to the chase. Recently, a bunch of you lovely motherfuckers over on my Twitter, shameless plug, have been sending me some uh, concerning articles about about the Red Devil himself. No, I'm not talking about Satan, I'm talking about N Netflix, you know, because the logo is red. Alright, you get it. Netflix is spending much of its $8 billion budget on original films and anime. Yeah, I know. When I first read this article, I thought I misread that too. Not $8 million, $8 Billion dollar redos. I'm fully aware that Netflix is this humongous multi-billion dollar company, but God damn, man, that's a lot of Benjamins. Netflix has announced new plans to their content creation strategy. Today, the streaming service revealed that they will spend $8 billion towards producing 30 new anime series and 80 original movies in 2018. This is up from their $6 billion spending projections. So if you haven't been living under a rock, you would obviously know that Netflix has been really cracking down on this niche market of anime recently. Even bringing out a bunch of Netflix originals like the Mixed Blam movie, the hilariously horrible Neo Yokyo, and the, it's just as horrible as Dragon Ball Evolution, Netflix Death Note movie, which I've already dissected enough in another video. Links in the description. So you might be reading the title of this video, wherever it is, and might be thinking to yourself, come on, Joey, that's a little bit too far, isn't it? And yeah, to be honest, it is. But that doesn't mean it might be an actual possibility. Judging from the way that Netflix and other Western distributors have handled anime in the past, and the imminent growth of the anime community outside of Japan, it may very well be a possibility that Netflix and other Western audience-based services are trying to take over the anime industry. Before we start pointing fingers, let's examine further. After reading the aforementioned article I just read to you, I sat down and thought to myself, why? Why is a multi-billion dollar business trying to cash in on something as niche as anime? Well, I only assume it's because the big guys at the top of Netflix looked at the anime industry and saw it as this untapped market. Since if you look at it from the standpoint of a typical Western viewer who grew up consuming Western media, anime is an extreme niche, yet it has a lot of dedicated fans who are willing to watch anything anime related. Or at least that's what Netflix thinks. And so after they had a crack at this strange Japanese cartoon medium called Animu and saw that it came with a rather large monetary success, they saw that as an opportunity. This is it boys! Nobody else is doing this weird anime shit. And the kids are loving it. Keep that faucet at full blast, Stevens. We're gonna drown these weeaboo motherfuckers in this shit. By this time next year, we're gonna be coming, money. But you see, uh, let me fill you in on a little secret. You guys know the Emoji Movie, considered one of the worst films of 2017 by fans and critics so far. And yet, even though this film pulled in a ridiculously low score of 10%, on Rotten Tomatoes, this fucking movie still made over 200 million dollars in the box office. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I would like to coin memeified success. When something becomes so notoriously bad that everybody on the internet is talking about it. Thus, the subject gets an enormous reaction from everybody living on the internet and basically gets a bunch of free advertisement. You know when they say that a game or a movie or an anime is so bad that it's good? The Room, the Super Mario Brothers movie, Pupa, there's truly no such thing as bad publicity. With that being said, let's go back to Netflix. I don't think Netflix quite understands that our standards in the anime community are surprisingly quite high. 
high. Especially when we see this Anime X West shipping with anything, we automatically assume that it's going to be fucking terrible. Because most are fucking terrible. Everybody and their fucking mothers, including me, were talking about the Death Note live action, and only about a month ago we were talking about Neo Yoko. And guess what? Because of that, Netflix made so much fucking bank. They also gained this false confidence that this is what the anime community and anime lovers are looking for. And that this is the kind of stuff that non-anime fans would look at as anime and would hopefully gradually put them into the actual existing anime community, only strengthening the so-called anime of Netflix even further. I say false confidence because the fact of the matter is that it's all bullshit. Popular website Polygon posted a tweet a few weeks ago saying, If you liked Neo Yokyo and Death Note, Netflix has some really good news for you today. Hey, uh, I don't, I, I don't know if you heard, but nobody fucking liked Neo Yokyo and Death Note. Yes, I will admit a lot of people like those shows, Ironically, Neo Yokyo and Death Note weren't written as these hilarious comedy shows that the rest of the anime community saw it as. So don't look at the monetary success of these kinds of shows and think that it's gonna last another 365 days and a $8 million fucking budget. These shows and movies are pretty much memes. After a few months of rigorous talking and discussing on the faces of the internet, it's gonna die. And much like a dead meme, if someone tries to bring it up again after it's been dead for a few months already, nobody is going to give a shit about it. Except for dabbing, that never died. Yeah, I said it. Fight me. We're only reacting to Netflix originals like the Death Note and Neo Yoko now because it's something that we haven't seen coming from such a large target audience based publisher yet. Yes, Japan has been making terrible anime, terrible anime movies, terrible live action anime movies for years now. But seeing a large and already built up and well established western industry like Netflix doing it is like going to your friend's grandma's place and watching her do a fucking backflip. Of course you're gonna want to share it with your friends because you never expected it to happen. It is an unfortunate truth though that the Japanese anime industry has been kind of stagnant over the last couple of years and is kind of falling behind on what other producers and publishers are trying to do. There might be a whole cultural reason behind that since Japan is a country that really hates risk taking. A lot of Japanese companies won't take certain business risks unless they are 100% sure that they are going to succeed. That's the reason why right now even though the whole craze with anime sharing is in the online digital streaming services like Crunchyroll, Funimation, Anime Strike and yes even Netflix, the Japanese industry is still relying on DVDs, Blu-rays, and physical CD sales for their monetary gains. Which makes sense because a lot of Japanese consumers are still buying physical copies of anime and anything anime related. And at the same time are not really utilizing digital mediums like streaming services because there isn't really a streaming service in Japan that is readily available for these kinds of consumers. But at the same time, Japan doesn't realize that they're missing out on a massive global market that all these other Western distributors are pretty much taking advantage of right now. Not to mention with the constant increase of supply and demand for more and more anime within a shorter amount of time to satisfy the larger and larger community of anime watchers, the industry can't stay stagnant like this for very long. It's eventually gonna realize it got left behind by its mother and it'll start to wander around the supermarket crying and screaming to find the exit when the whole time the exit was right fucking there in front of their faces. That is a four year old memory that I wanna forget about. I think some people will agree with me here when I say that I do kind of appreciate these Western companies like Netflix who are trying to expand anime towards a much larger audience, especially in the West. Because a lot of these people probably have no idea what anime even is and the first time they ever watch anything remotely anime related is on sites like Netflix. But even though I do appreciate it, I honestly don't think Netflix should be the one that is taking the reins on that. I mean, the standard Netflix service is already so ass backwards that we have to wait until next year to get an anime series that came out three fucking months ago. So why does Netflix think it can take the reins on expanding anime to the West with its original garbage that no Nobody gives two frogs fat asses about. Look, I'm not an expert on economics or business or licensing or any of that kind of stuff. But just as a normal ass anime fan, I have two pieces of advice towards Netflix and any other Western services who are trying to do the same thing Netflix is doing. First of all, Get rid of live action. Nobody liked Death Note, and I feel the Mob Psycho 100 movie is going to be garbage already. Just because you have a high budget, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna make a good movie. That's like a YouTuber saying, If I buy a more expensive camera and microphone, 
I can make better videos. Motherfucker, if your personality is synonymous to a brick wall, then it really doesn't matter. But if you just can't stop yourself from making live action and you think it's the only way to go, then stop picking all these bullshit Shonen series that require more CGI than the entire Toy Story franchise. Stick to things like period pieces like Duroni Kenshin, human dramas like March Comes In Like a Lion, or just, I don't know, Make a fucking animated movie! A bizarre choice, I know. And second of all, work with the Japanese anime industry to make a better service first. As existing members of the anime community, we want anime, not things that are anime related. Also, for the love of Miyazaki, can we stop undermining anime as this thing that Western audiences are probably not gonna get into? Anime is a legitimate form of entertainment. Get the Japanese industry to create these anime and get the Western industries to spread it to the rest of the world. If it worked for Pixar and DreamWorks, then it's probably gonna work for anime as well. Stop thinking that just because it's from a different culture that automatically the majority of the Western audience is not gonna enjoy it. If that logic applied, then they never would have brought a bunch of awesome kung fu films from China. Because those totally didn't work in the West, right? The fact that so many Western industries are doing this whole roundabout maneuver to show anime to a Western audience is only strengthening the whole stigma of if you like anime in the West, then you're a fucking weirdo. There weren't 350,000 Japanese people who attended Anime Expo this year. That was predominantly 350,000 Western people. And that's just one convention out of the hundreds and thousands of anime conventions all across the globe. Open your fucking eyes, Japan! There is an audience out there! Give that audience the same quality of services as what the Japanese audience is getting, and word of mouth will do the rest of its job. Ugh, so with all that aggression out of the way, let's go back to the question posed in the title of this video. Is Netflix trying to take over the anime industry? Maybe. But will they succeed? Again, maybe. But if they keep going with their existing plan, it sure as shit ain't gonna be pretty for the existing anime community. I've seen so many posts about this on the internet, and I've even talked about this to my personal anime friends, about the whole argument of whether anime becoming mainstream is a good or a bad thing. Some people argue that it will be a good thing because it will hopefully get rid of the whole negative stigma on otakus and weeaboos being a bad thing to society. No wait, scratch that, weebs are still bad. But I've heard arguments of anime becoming mainstream being a bad thing because it will drop the overall quality of anime all across the board and will actually be detrimental to the Japanese industry as a whole. But the fact that we're seeing Netflix and Amazon with Anime Strike doing stuff like this suggests that, yeah, Anime is becoming mainstream whether you like it or not. And what do I think about it? Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Let's just say I'm on the fence about this for now, but my opinion may very well change in the next couple of years. I also realized that my beanie fell off halfway through this video somewhere. I didn't even notice I was so pissed off. But I would love to know your opinions on what you think about Netflix making a move into the anime industry. Do you think it will succeed or fail? Do you think Netflix is doing it the correct way or are there other alternatives that you can think of that Netflix should probably follow before everything turns to shit? If it hasn't already. I want you to let me know all that kind of stuff in the comments below. Also, if there are any other news or stink pieces that you'd like me to talk about and discuss in a video, then the best place to do it is to follow me over on my Twitter. So follow me there, link me your articles or videos or whatever, and uh, enjoy my shit posting. Again, a special thank you as always to all of my patrons who support me every single month. If you enjoy what I do and you would like to support me on future endeavors and projects, then the best place to do it is to support me on Patreon. So click that link in the description below if you like what you see. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. As always, like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe for more anime banner and I'll see you guys next video of whatever I made. Keep watching anime. Johnny.